So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. So it's happened. Always somewhere in the middle of the month, it's like, hmm, what are we going to do next month? So next we'll, month, we're going to do open yoga. Yeah, I just feel the sense of, you know, opening into the year, opening into the body, connecting, opening into the hips, the shoulders, the spine. <clears throat> How do we deepen our range of wellness and of strength and of flexibility while yeah, staying soft and well and yeah, I'm just I'm interested in this, you know, all the tips and skills that I have, all the different, so many different kinds of movement that I love doing. And so we're going to play a bit with different things to see what they do and how we open our hips deeper. It's an idea. We'll start there. And we'll go we'll go from there and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> one second. Um, so great today. We're on the floor. Caroline, happy birthday. Um, come into a child's pose and we shall continue to emerge, but sideways. <laughs> we're doing side body. Come. So come into your child's pose. Resting down, landing in. Feel the, the elastic of you being lengthened. Really soften into the, the forces of gravity, the sense of the weight of your body. Surrender to the movement of your breath. Allow it to travel down into the pelvic floor, down into your lower back. And that sense of weight through your body. All right, so I'm going to walk your hands over towards the right side. I'm going to bend my right elbow so my right hand is beside my right knee. And just continue with that same intention, softening, settling, deepening lengthening nice over to the other side both hands over towards the left and i'm going to bend my left elbow and bring my hand beside my knee and just settle in Feeling, sensing, deepening. Nice, both hands forward. Come into your cat pose, rounding your back, arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back. And then begin to include the feet. As you round the back, tuck your toes under. As you arch the back, bring your toes to flat. Just feel that, can you? As I round my back, I really push my toes in and that gives me much more rounding, it connects my pelvis and my legs and then the arching. Just notice how do you connect your body? How do you move? Nice, we're going to do the same thing, crooked, the crooked cat, bring both hands over towards the left side, tucking your toes under, arching your back. Really feeling, deepening, connecting in. Nice. Other side. Right side. Super cool. Back to center. Take your right hand, glide it underneath your armpit towards the left. Shoulder comes down. But don't let it land completely. Just reach. And then pull your right elbow back into lawn more. Reach underneath your left armpit. Elbow comes back. Just feel that. Find the range of motion. A sense of strengthening. Slow the movement down as you move. Feel like you lean into the end of the range. Have a moment of pause. Nice, other side.
Nice. Both hands to the floor, push back, downward dog. Mm, lengthening through your legs, connecting through the full back of your body. Connect to your feet. What do they say? How are they feeling? Maybe lengthen them by bending one knee, bending the other. Really lengthening into the back of your toes. Nice. Resting down, come into a child's pose. And just check in. Is it the same as it was at the beginning of the class? Or has something changed? So there's, um, there's different parts of me now settling. In the beginning, it was like the, the big muscles had to relax and release. And now they're much more settled. And now it's a, a subtler layer, a deeper layer of me expressing rest or connection. Nice. Bring both hands forward. Knees underneath your shoulders. No. <laughs> hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Yes, that's the one. Reach your right hand forward, bring your fingertips to the floor, bring your left leg back, bring your toes to the floor. And then see if you can hover your fingers and toes off the floor and maybe bring your arms up so that they're parallel to your ear and your hip. But just see, maybe it's just your leg you can bring up. Maybe it's just your arm you can bring up. And then drop your foot, drop your arm, drop your foot, drop your arm, foot, arm, lift both up, drop both, lift both, drop both, lift both. Pause there. In whatever version of this you're doing, reaching really long into that left leg, long into your right leg, right arm. <laughs> Nice. Both hands to the floor, both knees to the floor. Step your left hand forward, step your right foot back. Slowly lift either just the foot or the leg. See, or both. See how that is. Drop your left hand, drop your le uh, right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand, right foot. And then drop both lift both drop both lift both drop both lift and pause get really long here nice roll your shoulders in a big circle and you just feel your rib cage moving and then roll in the other direction Nice. From here, step your right foot out to the side, way out to the side, and then bring the baby toe edge of your foot to the floor. Nice. Rising up, push your hips forward, and then travel sideways so that your left hand comes down to the floor. Reach your right arm long and beside your ear, and then swing your right hand down towards your right foot, and then long. And you can lift your foot off the floor when you travel long with your arm. See what you want to do yourself. Back. Long, back, or down, over towards your foot, long, foot, long. Maybe I'm trying to bring my forehead towards my knee as well, but I want to try and go deeper. Nice, one more time. Pause on the long. Right arm lifting, lengthening, right leg, wherever it feels like, good for it. It's super long. Feel the whole of your body extending through the right side. Nice. Sweeping down. Come to the other side. So lengthen the left leg out to the side. Drop your right hand down to the floor. Connect into the baby toe side of your foot. Long through that leg. Sweep the left arm long beside your ear. Nice. And then swing or down towards your foot and long down towards your foot. 
long foot long <laughs> oh maybe yes i forgot this side lift if you want <laughs> this leg doesn't lift as much for me so i forgot the instruction it's funny we live the world through the expression of our bodies <laughs> Next time you lift and reach, pause. Nice, all the way down. And just rest yourself down into a child's pose. Bring your knees a bit wider. Bring your elbows wide so your head is resting on your hands. Notice now, how is your child's pose? Where in you? is connecting to this movement. Nice. Cool. So come sit on your mat. Legs are long in front of you. And then from here, Bend both knees and drop both knees down towards the left side. Bring your left hand behind you and bring your right hand across to hold on to your shoulder. And just twist your right shoulder as far towards the right as you can go. And then twist your right shoulder as far to the left as you can go. And just feel that. Towards the right. Towards the left. Right left right next time you go left with your shoulder reach your right arm long and back towards the wall behind you so you're reaching your arm long behind you pull your elbow back and swing as much as you can towards the right hand behind you sweep your right hand back and then swing both arms towards the right right arm back like you're trying to touch the wall or turn off a switch behind you back one more time touch the wall pause there nice come all the way back other side so bring your knees up drop your knees down towards the right bring your left hand across to hold on to your Right shoulder, right hand is behind you on the floor. Twist as much as you can towards the left, and then towards the right. Left, my hand is more or less staying on the floor. It is moving a little bit. As I move towards the left, I come a little bit more up onto my fingertips. It gives me a bit more range. My hand is staying more or less where it is this time. Nice, now, as you travel back, reach your left hand back towards the wall behind you, and then swing yourself around with both arms towards the left. So your left hand reaches behind you. Swing both arms towards the left. Behind you to the right. Uh, oh God, I have no idea. Yeah, le right. <laughs> God, what a soup of lefts and rights. So left hand back towards the right both arms to the left yes next time you reach back with the left hand behind you pause my right hand is the scaffolding and my spine is spiraling my shoulder is reaching i have the sense of the gesture it's not exactly you don't have to be exactly anywhere in particular it's like how does your body create this gesture gestures are far more powerful than individual instructions Nice, come all the way back, stretch both legs long, and just roll into your belly. So as you roll into your belly, get a sense of your spine. How does it move? And then roll in the other direction. Nice. So you're going to lie on the floor. I hadn't planned this, but this is the feeling of today. So lie on the floor. Um, knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, drop both knees down towards the right, come back up to center. Move slow enough that you feel 
the different parts of you responding to the change in shape. Both knees to the right, back to center, feeling the weight traveling from one hip to the other. Noticing. Super. Now, come back to center. We're going to move into gliders. Um, we've done a tiny bit of gliders this month, but we're going to do gliders. Nice. So feet are hip distance apart. Arms are wide. Palms are facing the ceiling. Your shoulders will open more. Tuck your chin in. Find your spine. Feel a sense of connection. Take a breath. Maybe do that sigh thing that we do. Breath, breath. And then a deep exhalation. And then drop both knees down towards the left and glide your right knee up towards the left shoulder. And then both feet back to the floor, knees back up to center. Drop your knees down towards the right and glide the left knee up towards your right shoulder. So as you travel from side to side, for me, this is a, a really specific movement of the side of my hip the deep of my pelvis, my lower back, the, the strapping of the back of my pelvis, my sacrum, the buttock. It's just like amazing. <laughs> just move, feeling, connecting, listening to the rumble of your body as you move. Value in respecting. If there's a strong sensation that you ease off, you either go slower make the movement smaller or stop and rest. You know, really listening, never forcing, do no harm. Find a way of doing it without creating charge or difficulty in the body. Moving with grace and ease. Nice, next time you travel over towards the right with your left knee, pause there. Bring your right hand underneath your left knee so it's like a little shelf that it's resting on. And then just reach your left arm up towards the ceiling for a moment and then pour your back down onto the floor so my spine meets and then my shoulder meets and then my elbow meets and then my hand meets and i can keep my baby finger side on the floor and then release that left knee and let it fall a bit more towards the floor so now i've anchored my left arm and my right knee is dropping towards the my left knee is dropping towards the right side and breathe into that. I'm even resting my hand really lightly. My right hand is resting really lightly on the outside of my left knee. And I'm creating just for my fingertip a tiny bit of traction, which is really interesting for me. Hmm. Another sigh, a deeper breath, settling in. Hmm. Nice. Come all the way back to center. We'll do the same to the other side. So we'll just move into gliders a few times just to iron out ourselves. Gliding one way, gliding the other. And then the next time your right knee travels over towards the left, bring your left hand underneath your knee like a little shelf. So my knee is like held really steadily with my left hand under my knee, okay? And then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then reach a little bit more and then pour your spine between your shoulder blades and then your shoulder and then your elbow and then the baby finger side of your hand to the floor. So now we've anchored that side, release the knee and let it drop. Now we have an anchor and there is a lengthening happening where we want it rather than just rolling over, which is what happens often. So again, I have a, I'm moved to gently with my fingertips, push a tiny, it's so tiny the amount that I'm pushing, and it's just creating a traction through the tissues of the deep of my hip and the deep of my belly. Oh, nice. Settling in, sinking in. Remember, if this is too intense, then come out a bit. You can choose, if it's too strong, then you've gone too far. It's in the name of what you're saying. <laughs> So finding your range always is such an incredible 
it's like meditation and motion, you know, not forcing, but really adapting to truly how you are, listening deeply, being present. Yum, come all the way back up to center. Both feet to the floor and just pelvic tilt. So arching into the lower back, flattening into the lower back. Mm, so as you arch, as you flatten down. So as I arch, there's a small space between my lower back and the floor. And as I flatten down, I'm squeezing my bum so that my bum is slightly rounding forward. But it's not that I'm making my bum round forward. It's that it's happening because of the pushing down of the lower back. Just feel that pelvic tilt. What are your feet doing? Can you wiggle your toes a little bit? Can you soften your jaw, wiggle your eyebrows? Have a sense of space through the rest of your body as you pelvic tilt. You know, can you multitask? You know, connecting your feet, connecting sensations of your neck and head. Nice. Next time you roll backwards, roll up. Rising up through your hips, lift your hips high. And then rolling down, land on the floor. Rolling up, traveling up along the spine. And rolling down, all the way down, land on the floor. One more time, rolling up along the spine, pause. And that push squeeze we were using at the beginning of the month, so squeeze your bum and push your hips a little bit higher towards the ceiling. So, and then push your heels down, connect your toes and feel how the arc of your body is formed in the lifting of your hips, in the squeezing of your buttock, in the pushing of your feet, in the connecting of your shoulders. Super cool. Lower all the way down. And just squeeze one way up. Hug it in. Mm, squeeze the other knee up. Hug it in. Maybe rock from side to side. Maybe stretch your legs out long. And just take a minute, one minute, and pause. Take stock of how you feel. So bringing your awareness into the sensations of your body in this moment and letting there be a settling, a deepening, a connecting. Yum. <laughs> How lovely. Wow, that was so cool. I really like that. Um, so again, if you missed it at the beginning, open is what uh, April will be. Yeah, I just have, so this is um, last week on the prom. There was snow on the Thursday, but there was a deep frost on the Friday. It was incredible. And this is the Galway prom just beside Mutton Island. Um, just beside, just when there was a frost and uh, it was so beautiful. This picture is taken by a friend of mine, Steve. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Be well, be awesome, listen in. Yeah, where do you, when do you sit on the floor in your day? You know, when do you connect into your body? When are you meeting your body in motion in your daily life? Great, lovely. Uh, as always, it's epic to be here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.